911, what's your emergency? May 20th, 2020, Glendale, Arizona. A video circulated on social media appearing to show a man claiming to be a shooter. One of the videos showed the man with a semi-automatic rifle. Police immediately responded to the Westgate Entertainment District around 7.25 p.m. after receiving multiple reports of the shooting in the area. Police say Armando Hernandez Jr. had considered carrying out a mass shooting for three to four years. The 20-year-old was arrested after three people at Glendale's Whiskey Entertainment District were shot on Wednesday night. Hernandez made his first appearance before a judge on Thursday, hours after he was booked into Maricopa County Jail on suspicion of more than a dozen felony charges. A prosecutor called him an incel, referring to an online movement of mostly men that view themselves as involuntary celibate and promote violence against women. The people he injured was a 19-year-old man that ended up in the hospital in critical condition and a 16-year-old girl went to the hospital as well for injuries that were not life-threatening and a 30-year-old woman was hurt but did not go to the hospital. Hernandez is facing 16 felony counts including charges of aggravated assault criminal damage and weapons misconduct. During his initial court appearance, Hernandez was given a $1 million bond. February 8th, 2020, Ogles, Ohio. Stephanie Swiger calls 911 to report that she just killed her husband Wesley Swiger in self-defense. You can hear the utter panic and discomfort in her voice. <laughs> you me drive. Okay, you calm down. I need you to tell me what the address is. 255. St. Mary, Ohio. What do you mean by you just filming? He was beating me. He was gonna kill me. Okay. He had a knife. Okay, what? Where's the knife at now? He's dead. He's in the closet. He's dead in the closet. How did you do that? I just snuck my gun from the other side of the 
out of the room before he could find it. You <laughs> shot him? I did. Okay. Okay, I need you. Are you there by yourself other than with him? I am, okay. yes. What I need you to do is I need you to place the gun someplace secure outside of that okay. room. It's in, my, it's in my pocket. I brought it with me. Okay, where are I you at? I'm in the living room. I'm in the living room. Okay, what I need to do is I want you to set the gun down. Okay. Okay? And I do yeah. not I do not want you to leave or move the room. Is your front door unlocked? I'm sitting in front of it. It's open. It's open? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I need you to have your hands up and just clear where the, okay. the officers can okay. see everything, okay? Okay, I need you should to I move down. away from the gun? Yes, I need you to step I, away I can from go the gun. Sit. Okay, okay, I'm going to go room somewhere else. They can still see you, but I need you to okay. step away from that gun. Absolutely. I'll even open the blinds so they can okay. see me. What is your name? Stephanie Swagger. Stephanie Swagger? Yep. Okay, so do you have your do you know your social security number? Yeah. Okay. I just need you to calm down and I need you to stay with me and stay where you are, okay? So that I can explain to the guys when they come over there. Okay. Okay. The gun is yeah, now, the gun is in the living room. Where's it at in the, the living gun is, room? The gun is I am sitting on the couch and the gun is sitting like two feet away from the front door. I left okay. it sitting there because that's where I stopped because I was going to run. But I I don't know. Okay. I'm scared. I don't know. I, okay. I just shot. I don't know. Okay. All right. We're getting home there, okay? Okay. Okay. You're sitting on the couch? I am. Okay. I'm sorry. Honey, we'll take care of things. We'll figure out what's going on when we get there, okay? I just need to stay. Okay. I need you to stay calm. I'm calm. Okay. I just really want to call my mom. Okay, well, we can't do any of that until I get somebody I know. there. I know. <sighs> okay, you said he's in the bedroom? Yeah, he's in the closet in the bedroom. We had a walk-in closet. Okay. <sighs> oh, my God. Okay, I have a lot of people coming. So if they, whatever they okay. advise you to do, I want you to do, but I want you to stay calm, okay? And okay, like I said, I the, the gun is not by you, right? No. It's, okay, it's a by the door or on the coffee table? It's on the floor. It's by on the, the floor door. by the door. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's a small Ruger, small little handgun. It's nothing crazy. Okay, I got it a as a gift. Hang on a second. Okay. <sighs> Oh my God. <sighs> okay, don't be surprised if they walk in and they have their weapons drawn, okay? It's fine. The door, I'll see them because I, I have the blinds open and the door. Mail would be There's in a... the bedroom in the closet. Oh my God. <sighs> Oh my god. Okay, when did all this happen? Just now I immediately called. And I ran cuz I was trying to get he made me go back in the bedroom after physically assaulting me in the living room. He told me that if I didn't go to the bedroom, he was going to hurt me. He was going to stab me. He had a knife. And okay. I just, I just listened. I didn't know what else to do. So my phone was in the living room. Someone's here, I think. Okay. Or All someone right. drove by. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, there's somebody. Here. Okay, I need you to the go. Guns right I need you door. to go to outside. Okay. Okay. Keep your hands out of your pocket. Keep my hands out of my pocket. One's on the air. phone. One's up. Okay, as long as you have the phone on your hand, you're good. But keep your hands up in the air and slowly walk outside. Who is this? It's going to be a police officer. What are you doing? Who are you talking to? Uh, a guy that is here that is a friend of his. Who is it? 
His name is, is Johnny Baker. No, the police officers are here as well. Okay, tell Johnny to step back for me. Okay, they're he's they're here. They got him. Okay, my you hands are up. up. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh You're my welcome, God, so Bye bye. Stephanie Swiger would not face any charges in the shooting death of her husband. A joint statement from Ogles County Sheriff L. Solomon and County Prosecutor Edwin Pierce was released late Friday afternoon. They say the Ogles County Grand Jury has heard the investigation into the shooting death of 36-year-old Wesley Swiger on Saturday, February 8th. The grand jury then declined to return any indictment against Stephanie Swiger for any offense related to the shooting death. Stephanie was already out of jail on bond. Latin County 911, what is your emergency? Hi, we called about um, someone in River Creek and they went to the Maryland side of River Creek and were on the Virginia side and okay. someone's drowning. <laughs> June 4th, 2020, Leesburg, Virginia. Multiple 911 calls are made to report that a teen by the name of Fitz Thomas struggles to stay above water and they believe he is drowning. Okay, are they in Montgomery County? I don't know. We can see okay. them from across the Potomac. Right. Okay, stay on the line with me, okay? I'm going to transfer you to Montgomery. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Montgomery County 911. What's the address of the emergency? This is Lionel. The Hi. transfer. Go ahead. Oh. Thank, you. Thank you. Caller, what's the address? Um, we're in Montgomery. Uh, what is it? And you said you're in Gro Goose River. Where Goose Creek, uh, Goose Creek flows into the Potomac River, so it's right at the mouth where Goose Creek flows into Potomac River. Okay. Uh oh, no, they think they found them. Shit, they found them. They found them. Oh my God. Okay, oh my they God. have it. Latham County 911, what is your emergency? Montgomery County with a transfer. Ma'am, what park are you at? We're in River Creek, Latham County. We're in Confluence Park inside of River Creek. Okay, what's going on? This is Montgomery. She, she said somebody drowned and there's a helicopter that was we just looking We just found him and he's, he's unconscious. He's unconscious. Okay, is he out of the water or? He's out of the water, unconscious now. Okay, where are you at out of the water? Uh, there's a dock inside of Confluence Park, inside of River Creek. Past the golf club? I need it. All right, Loudon. Okay, yeah. It looks, like, it looks like we are handling it. You can hang up. I'm going to talk to her. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Glenn Kenny 911, what is your emergency? Yes, Go right emergency. Please get down here. River Creek, Goose Creek, uh, at Confluence Park. They just pulled the kid out of the water. He's drowned. Please okay, are okay. Are you is are they in Montgomery County? No, we're in Loudoun County, Leesburg. Okay, what's the address there? It's it's River Creek community. Come on, is he? You guys, come on, can you please? Okay, I need. Lewis Park, River Creek. No, we're on Allen County, Leesburg, Virginia. How are you not getting this? River Creek community. Okay, ma'am. Olympic Street, Olympic Street. Olympic Street. Hurry up. Okay, ma'am. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, ma'am. Olympic Street. Hurry up. The kids. Come on. I I need an address. Are you still there? Hello? No, I think so. I think. I don't know. I don't know. Ma'am, are you still there? Oh, Go out there and 
Hello? Hello. Yes, this is Latin Kenny 911. Who, who is on the other line? Um, yep. uh, Sam, this is Montgomery. Okay, so are you guys handling this? Um, we are. Yeah. She just said okay. she was on the Loudoun County yes. side and insisted that Loudoun come yes. Leesburg. Guys, how do you, okay. How do you I just wanted I just wanted to make sure because we're we just want to make know if we need to respond or not because someone transferred it back to us. Please. Okay. Please get someone here. Ma'am. 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 So do you? This is Loudoun still. Do you want me to disconnect? Okay. Okay. Lawn County Fire Rescue Dispatcher Snowden. Hey, it's Montgomery Fire Lieutenant Brown. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Hey, so we got this call um, in the water. Um, they say that they're on your side. I'm getting the exact location um, okay. for you all. It says that they're at the uh, Gooseneck and um, Potomac River. Does that ring a bell for you guys? Um, it does. I just got to figure out how to load it. Okay. We have, because, here it is, Goose Creek and the mouth of Potomac. Okay. 4,300. We got both in the water, and they're coming this way, but it, the police are reporting that it's actually on you guys' side, and it states that they pulled the child out of the water. Uh-uh. Okay. So the child is out of the water, but it's on the Loudoun County side. Correct at the mouth of the Potomac. At the, right at the right at the mouth. Okay. Correct. Yep. Do you know is the child breathing? Can you I tell me the status? Currently, give me one second. I can I can okay. get my operator to. Yeah, it says CPR in progress on VA side at Goose Creek and Mouth. Yep. Same comment. Okay. Great. All right. Well, I'm Kenny nine one one. What is your emergency? Hi. We have we have someone. We were just here on the phone down and someone's drowning here in River Creek. Okay, we have help dispatched out there. Where exactly are you? There's, I'm sorry, but there is nobody here and there hasn't been anybody here for 10 minutes. Okay, I understand, ma'am. They have to drive out there. I just want to confirm exactly where you are to make sure we're sending them to the right place. Confluence Park. It's all the way in the back of the gated community of River Creek. Is it near Perdido Bay? I don't know where that is. Okay. They have them out of the water. They're doing CPR and chest compression on the phone with another um, another medical person. If you come... Okay, they are doing the CPR? Creek. Yeah. We have units coming from our side, too, okay? Okay. It's all right. Just take a deep breath, okay? Don't get yourself worked up. <laughs> Do you know who the person is? I need to go. For the paramedics aren't here yet. Sorry? Do you know who the person is? His name is Fitz. It's all right, okay? Just take a deep breath. We've, we've got them on the way. They just got to get there. <laughs> okay, call thank us back you. if anything changes, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. According to the sheriff's office, Fitz Thomas and his friends were swimming across the confluence of Goose Creek and the Potomac River. As they crossed the water, Thomas's friends observed him go underwater. His friends then attempted to search for him. Thomas was pulled from the river. After being underwater for a long period of time, he was taken by rescue personnel to a Nova hospital where he died. He was only 16 years old. Hi, I'm in downtown. The your, your purchases are blocking. Which street? Right at um, Caroline. Or do you see any 
June 13, 2020, Fredericksburg, Virginia. A protest was authorized by the city government and monitored by the police department. Officers were staged one block from the demonstrations to divert traffic while protesters exercised their First Amendment rights. Unfortunately, Protesters did not advise police where they would march, and some vehicles were not able to be diverted. The 911 communications officer informed the caller that the protest was a city authorized event, and officers were monitoring the activity from afar. When the caller stated a person jumped on her vehicle, the communications officer notified officers staged nearby of the situation. This is the 911 call. Okay. Yeah, and they're, you know, they're gesturing and they're blocking. Um, the city has sanctioned their protest, so we just have officers that can only monitor it. They can't do anything about it, but we recommend they that you... They can't. They're blocking. Get out. Yeah, they're <laughs> allowed to do that. They're allowed to do that per city hall, so we suggest that you um, report this to city hall and make a complaint there, and that way they can do something about it, because right now they told our officers that we can't do anything about it. How do I get out of here? I, I can't go backwards. Yeah, we, I can't. Um, unless you're hurt or something or get in an accident, our office can't intervene and move I can't it. stay here all night, ma'am. You cannot do I have a little girl in the car. You can't do you that. You just have to slowly get through the protest. I can't. Okay, am I going to get arrested when I keep going? Because they're just bringing up my car. As long as you don't hit really any people, threat. like, you're not allowed to well, hit people. Well, I will. Like, I actually will, and I need to get out of here. Okay, ma'am, you cannot hit people. They're, they're on my car. Right? They're on my car right now. But we would suggest you slowly drive through the area. Don't hit anyone with your vehicle. I can't. Your I cannot home. get out of here. Okay? You have to be patient, but I'll, I'll let the officers know, okay? Are, are you serious? The city you guys told us cannot... that we can't do anything, ma'am. The city told us that this is a sanctioned event. But they're blocking, they're, they're blocking part people getting through that gets out. Yes, ma'am. The city's allowed that. We can't do anything about that. The police can't. Unbelievable. So we're all very well, frustrated about that. Get out of my car! You know, this is gonna get dangerous. I got a kid here. Yes, ma'am. It was just that you call up City Hall to let them know about your frustration. Get we're all very frustrated. Get out of my car! This is getting scary! I cannot. They're like, Or if you're gonna do like a side road or something, but yeah, there's nothing else you can do to get, get them out. Get out of here, okay? Get out of the way! This is insane. Oh, they're on my car! They're on my car! What kind of car are you in, ma'am? Uh, yeah, get out. <laughs> Ma'am, are they actually sitting on or standing hey, on your car right now? my car right now. What kind of vehicle are you in? I'm in a black Highlander. All right, I'm going to let the officers know about that, okay? Hold on just a moment. And I got a little girl in the car crying. Are you kidding me? And your name real quick, ma'am, just for our records? This is insane. Okay. Here, thank you. I'm out of it now. I just had... Okay, you're out of there? Yes. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am, okay? When officers arrived at the scene, the caller had vacated the area. A patrol division sergeant followed up with the caller by phone the following day and began his investigation. Public safety for everyone is the number one priority of the police department, and the sergeant exhausted all available resources to identify the suspect who jumped on her vehicle. His investigation continues. Lexington County 911, what's the address of your emergency? Uh, uh, 16 London Mary Square. I just need to report a missing child. February 10th. 2020 South Carolina. Six-year-old Faye Marie Swicklick goes missing right after she gets off the school bus at around 3.45 p.m. An hour or so later, Selena Collins, Faye's mother, calls 911 to report that the first grader is missing. Collins tells the 911 operator she had already spent time searching the neighborhood and speaking with neighbors about her disappearance. All right, re repeat that address for verification. Oh, uh, 16. All right, and tell me exactly what's happening. <laughs> um, I can't. <laughs> we can't find my daughter. She was playing outside, and now I can't find her. I, 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 I have okay, to go she? around. She is six. <laughs> She's going to be okay. seven in June. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to stand on the line with you, but I'm going to get KC, KCPD on the line too, but I'm going to stand on the line, so don't hang up, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, Casey, oh. this is Lexington. I've got a lady at 16. 
Um, her six-year-old was in the front yard, and she can't find her now. All right, hold on. What's the number 16? And I have her phone number. I'm going to stand the line so it doesn't get disconnected. And I'm going to stand the line just so it doesn't hang up. Okay, ma'am. All right, ma'am. You're on the yes. phone with Casey. Go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me what your son's name is? Uh, my daughter's name is Faith Butlett. S A Y E. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold okay. on. All right. What was the first name again? Faye. Faye, F-A-Y-E? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what's your last name? Swetwick. Spell that for me. S-W-E-T-L-I-K. Okay, and what was she wearing? Uh, she was wearing uh, polka dotted rain boots, uh, um, a flowered skirt, a and... A um, skirt or... Well, oh, a solid uh, skirt or a flowered skirt? Uh, Flowered. Uh, was um, a pink rose skirt. Okay. And, um, and a black kind of shirt. A black t-shirt that has um, a neon design on it. And how long has she been gone? Um, last time I, last I saw her probably about an hour ago. How tall is she? Oh, uh, she is three foot ten. Three foot. How much does she weigh? Uh, sixty five pounds. All right, stay on the phone with me. Do not hang up. What's your name? Uh, my name is... What's your phone number? Tom? It's a six-year-old missing phone number. All right. You last saw her in the front yard. You didn't see which way she went or anything like that. No, she was just right in, right, right in front of my front porch. All right. Have you possibly... Um, have you walked around and tried to locate her? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to stay in your yard, okay? Okay. Because we have a unit out that has a dog in case we need to try to track her, okay? Okay. So we we don't need you walking. If you can just if, if you can just kind of stay close to the last place she was. Hold on just a second. Have any idea where she would go? Have you looked in the backyard? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. Um, I checked. Um, I checked all um all the houses in my neighborhood and anybody that's actually answered to that looking for her too. Did she have a dog or anything with her? No. Okay, my officer will be there in just a few minutes. I'm okay. And Casey, I'm still here. Do you need anything from us? No, I don't need y'all. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm just afraid if I hang up, it's going to disconnect. That's all. All right. That's okay. Uh, Miss Faye, if she hangs up and you disconnect and you need us back, you dial 911 again, okay? If okay. Thank you. All right. If she happens to come up on the, on the front porch before we get there. Okay. Will do. All right. All right. They'll be there shortly. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Bye-bye. On February 12, just two days after Faye goes missing, the Department of Public Safety, or DPS, makes a public statement following questions about why no Amber Alert was issued in relation to the case. The statement shared to the department's Facebook page said the case did not meet the federally mandated guidelines for an Amber Alert. The next day at around 11 a.m., investigators find Faye Mae Sweatlick's body in a wooded area not far from her home. An autopsy revealed she died of asphyxiation. The very same day Faye was found, investigators find the body of 30-year-old Cody Scott Taylor at his home. A neighbor who kidnapped Faye for reasons unknown, he committed suicide by slitting his throat. What's shocking about this case is that law enforcement interviewed Cody Scott Taylor just the day before. Investigators did not believe he had any knowledge of Faye's disappearance. They were obviously wrong. 